hello everyone uh, hope you are well i wanted to continue on my legend series uh, and today i wanted to give uh, the great uh, sensation uh, in the 70s uh, jeff thompson of australia who was uh, definitely the fastest uh, bowler in that time and i would still say the fastest ever there have been players bradley etc but uh, jeff thompson was probably the most uh, fastest and uh, consistently fast uh, bowler uh, his full name was uh, jeffrey robert uh, thompson and he was born 16th august 1915 in uh, new south wales uh, and uh, he played uh, first class cricket for new south wales uh, queensland and he also played with the uh, middlesex uh, in uh, english county he played uh, 51 test matches in all that's all he played and he took exactly uh, 200 test wickets uh, and he had eight five wicket hauls and in first class cricket uh, he took uh, 675 wickets uh, with the uh, 28 uh, five wicket hauls and uh, three uh, 10 wicket hauls and he was uh, extremely fast he was like pace like fire and in 1975 uh, versus uh, West Indies at uh, Perth, uh, WACA, the Western Australian Cricket Association, which is the fastest bounciest uh, pitch, he bowled 160.6 uh, km per hour. And that was uh, the fastest uh, recorded time at that time. So uh, that was uh, one of the big things uh, that happened in 1975. And imagine, I mean, uh, batsman, I mentioned uh, before also, I mean, uh, batsman batting against him uh, without uh, helmets and uh, equipments like today. And uh, Jeff Thompson was obviously the opening bowling partner of uh, Dennis Lilly. And uh, they are one of the most uh, fearsome opening bowling partnerships of all time uh, in the history of uh, cricket. And in 1974-1975, uh, seeing their bowling, uh, Wisden said that uh, it's so easy to believe that they are probably the fastest ever uh, combination in a cricket team that has happened. So you couldn't talk uh, against uh, Wisden if they said that because that is how fast it was. Jeff Thompson was extremely fast. A lot of people know that. And Dennis Lilly was uh, very fast in his own rights as well. And they really terrorized uh, batsmen uh, around the world. Uh, and a lot of English batsmen really felt the pinch uh, in the ashes. Uh, they were really uh, terrifying in the ashes, especially when they came onto the scene. And Jeff Thompson had a very unique action, uh, not a normal action. He had a very unique action. He had like a very slinging type of action. He was almost like a javelin thrower. And uh, it's almost like some people will probably the new generation would know Lasith Malinga, uh, but not as much like Malinga down, but uh, he was like very slinging action. He's probably the first bowler in history who had that kind of a slinging action. And it was very effective. Uh, he used to get uh, extra bounce off the pitch. Uh, he used to kick the ball up from good length, which was one of his biggest uh, weapons. Because he's not someone who really bothered about swinging or seaming the ball. He just wanted to bowl fast. And he was really fast. I mean, there have been instances where the ball bounced uh, in the pitch. Uh, I've read, uh, I've been seeing that. I've seen, uh, I'll tell you that, uh, instances where he pitched the ball on the uh, pitch obviously and the, after it bounced it went over the keeper and it hit straight the side screen uh, behind the batsman without pitching in the ground it just went hit the side screen that's it, it has happened many times uh, it has been said but I have never seen that but I have definitely seen a few balls where my uh, Jeff Thompson bowled a bouncer uh, the ball pitched in the around halfway through the pitch and it bounced over the wicket keeper and it bounced just before the boundary line. I mean, that is a terrifying bounce and pace. I mean, I've never, I mean, a lot of people say that this new generation, uh, I mean, including Bradley or everyone that has bowled uh, fast, I've never seen anyone do that, like bowl a bouncer that pitched just before the boundary line and went for four. I mean, and in those days, the boundary line was uh, long and wide as well. So. If people say that they have been, been faster bowlers than Jeff Thompson, I do not believe it. Uh, probably one or two bowls. And, and especially some of them haven't even bowled it with a clean bowling action as well. 
so i would definitely say jeff thompson was the fastest ever and a lot of uh, and he actually even said once uh, during a press conference which was like a bit of a controversy he actually said once that he like uh, hitting uh, batsmen on the body more than taking their wickets and that he likes to see blood on the pitch so that was a very aggressive uh, statement from uh, jeff thompson uh, which had a little bit of controversy with it but that was how he was he has injured a lot of batsmen he has hit a lot of batsmen on the body and richie beno the great uh, australian obviously uh, whose uh, video i have covered richie beno considered him the fastest that he has ever seen after frank tyson of england who i did once say that uh, was called a typhoon uh, frank tyson richie beno said he was the fastest after frank tyson and uh, ian chapel has said obviously he is the fastest then rodney marsh the great wicket keeper who he obviously was the wicket keeper to dennis lee and jeff thompson said that uh, he was uh, the fastest and they actually rodney marsh actually says that jeff thompson jeff thompson was much faster than 160 km per hour that's what he thinks i don't know how it what is but obviously someone who kept it that's what probably they think of I and mean, when you kept him mean, and he was really fast and blasman the great batsman of the 70s 80s like uh, vivian sir vivian richards uh, considered jeff thompson the fastest he faced sunil gavaskar also said uh, jeff thompson was the fastest uh, then martin crow of uh, new zealand also uh, said uh, the fastest he said uh, that was uh, jeff thompson and uh, michael holding and he said that uh, jeff thompson was a freak and that he had a unique bowling, bowling action and that you never really saw the ball that's how fast he was and even michael holding who was extremely one of the fastest bowlers ever he he rated uh, jeff thompson as the fastest bowler and even the great uh, west indian captain clive lloyd also uh, rated uh, jeff thompson as the fastest uh, bowler that he had ever faced so i mean that is uh, a lot of uh, great players uh, talking about jeff thompson and saying that he was the fastest so if they say that he was the fastest we can definitely believe it and i've seen i mean his action i've seen his bowling i mean like i said the ball bouncing just before the boundary line and going for by his four i mean he was really terrifyingly quick i mean and and jeff thompson the one thing is like i mean other than the other bowlers you can't compare him with the other bowlers because other bowlers at least this like they wanted to take a wicket i mean jeff thompson is like he didn't even care about whether he wanted to take wickets he just really wanted to bowl fast and fast and fast and i mean like he probably that main statement that he made it was like a joke that he probably liked hitting the batsman more than taking wickets that's how he was i mean he couldn't care less about getting wickets he just wanted to bowl as fast as he could i mean and with that mentality a fast bowler with that mentality it's pretty hard to face him who just wants to keep bowling fast and fast i mean so i mean especially in those uh, times when there was no helmet and equipments and he was also his nickname was uh, tomo that's how they all called him uh, uh, formerly known as uh, tomo by the other players uh, so that is my video on uh, jeff thompson uh, who was uh, definitely the fastest uh, bowler in the history of uh, cricket there have been uh, bowlers who have come after that who have maybe shown on these new uh, speedometers but i wouldn't say that i mean there there hasn't been a more fierce uh, fast uh, bowler than a uh, aggressive bowler than jeff thompson who really terrified a uh, batsman around the world uh, so that is my video on jeff thompson uh, thank you for joining in and i'm sure a lot of people would have uh, enjoyed uh, this video on uh, jeff thompson he was like a myth he was like a a uh, real phenomena in the 70s 80s just for his pace and that uh, extra excitement that he brought to the game uh, thank you everyone for joining uh, please take care uh, god bless you